This video is going to walk through a integration sample uh, for the M2Sys Cloud Scanner API. Uh, the Cloud Scanner API is a, a web-based API that allows you to integrate uh, capturing from various biometric devices into any Windows or web-based application. Um, and it automates the ability to capture various different kinds of biometric template formats and image formats um, into a very simple to use framework. So the sample that we're going to be going through here is an ASP.NET sample. Um, and we're going to be utilizing a class file which uh, outlines all of the uh, specific uh, data types that are used in the API. Uh, however, if you uh, are, don't want to use this class file for any reason, uh, we do have very thorough documentation for the API available, um, which walks through all of the specifics of uh, all the different data types and formats of uh, both the inputs and the results. So there's two main operations in the Cloud Scanner API. Uh, they're authenticate and capture. Uh, so you need to authenticate to the API uh, first at the beginning of your session. Uh, and then once you've authenticated, you're able to uh, perform uh, multiple biometric captures. So if we pull up the authenticate page here, uh, you can see that there's four pieces of information that are needed to perform an authentication. Uh, three of them are keys that are related to your account in the Cloud Scanner API. Uh, one of them is specific to your customer account and the other two are related to uh, your particular application that you're integrating into. And the fourth is an access point ID, which is uh, going to come from the Cloud Scanner client uh, application that would be running on each workstation where you're going to be performing a biometric capture. So in this case, you can see that the three keys are pre-populated. And in the code, if we take a look, we can see that we're pulling these values from a config file. Now, obviously, you can pull them from a database or whatever is appropriate. The user is going to input the uh, access point ID from the Cloud Scanner client software, um, and that's done via the system tray icon that the Cloud Scanner client creates. So the user can just right click and copy that access point ID to the clipboard, and then they can very easily paste it into the, uh, the input field here. So once we have these four values, uh, you can see that uh, basically what we're doing is uh, just instantiating a new instance of the Cloud Scanner authentication object. Um, we're also setting the URL uh, that we're interfacing with in the API. Again, that's coming from this uh, web config file here. Um, so we just have that uh, pre-configured there. And uh, we're declaring a new instance of, uh, in this case, a fingerprint. Uh, cloud scanner uh, client object. So we're going to be uh, capturing from a fingerprint scanner in this case. And then we're uh, calling the authenticate uh, method and we're passing it this authentication object. That returns a Boolean. Um, and if it's a true result, then the authentication was successful. And you can see here that we're storing a couple session variables, um, the first being the unique access point ID of the workstation that we are um, making the authentication request from. Uh, and the second is a, a link um, or a reference to the actual uh, Cloud Scanner client object. So if we run this process here, you can see very easily um, just a single call passing those four parameters uh, and we get back the result of either success or failure. So once you've authenticated to Cloud Scanner, you're able to then perform a capture. So if we go back to the capture page here, uh, you can see that um, there's a number of different parameters that we're going to be uh, passing to the capture call. Um, the first four are basically just controlling the different types of captures that you're going to be performing, whether you're capturing templates, images, or both. Um, 
with fingerprint, which we're showing here, you can uh, perform single finger or two finger capture, and then specifying the format of the template and or images. So in this case, let's say we're going to capture uh, an ISO template and a PNG format image. The last value you can see here is the access point ID. And again, uh, just a reminder, this was provided as part of the authentication call. And this comes from the Cloud Scanner client software uh, running on your workstation. Uh, and this is how the API is going to know which computer uh, it's going to need to send the message to uh, activate the, uh, the capture process. So let's go ahead and walk through what the capture looks like and then we'll come back and take a look at the code that, uh, that made this possible. So when we click the capture button, you can see the capture window comes up. Again, it's using this access point ID to know that this computer is where I want to perform my capture. So in this case, I'm going to capture a single print middle finger. So I'm going to place my finger on the scanner. And once the capture is performed, we're going to submit it. And then the Cloud Scanner API will give us the capture results, which based on our settings here, include uh, an XML uh, blob containing the ISO template. You can see the template itself is uh, base64 encoded string and the uh, PNG image in uh, in its own XML uh, value which also is uh, a base64 string and then we've also here uh, processed the base64 image uh, in order to display the image itself. So let's take a look in the code at how we did this. So we're looking at the code for the capture page. And again, first thing you can see is that we're pulling the access point ID from our session variable. Uh, and when the capture button is clicked, we're also pulling our uh, client API object, uh, the Cloud Scanner client from the session variable as well. So again, those were populated uh, as part of the authentication step. So assuming that uh, the client object is valid. Um, we are going to construct a list of the parameters needed for the capture and we're going to pass all of the uh, different values into the uh, different properties of this uh, object. So again the access point ID, here we have the amount of time that the API is going to wait for the capture to be completed. Um, here's the four different uh, capture parameters that were selected from the drop downs in the capture screen controlling uh, the type of capture and the type of templates and, and images that were captured. So once all that's constructed, you can see here we're just calling the capture method of the client API object. So again, the Cloud Scanner client object. And we're just passing the parameter uh, construct to that call. So uh, this gives us a uh, result. Uh, and the result object is going to contain uh, the structure of everything that's returned. Um, so the structure, if we take a look at the definition, uh, contains our uh, template and image data. So if we take a look, all we're doing here is just a very simple parsing uh, where we are uh, displaying the captured data um, from the template data object as well as the uh, image data object. And then uh, we're putting the image data into uh, a image object to display on the screen.